Bill Zaney is a best-selling author and one of the preeminent celebrity interviewers in the country. We thought we'd turn the tables and interview him at his swank Northside bachelor pad. The Kamikaze, hey, hey! Bill Zaney! Hey, welcome to the fun house. Or is it Zemi? Well, Zamy, we... Uh, Do you mind if I say Zem, Esquire columnist? I'm a contributing editor. Biographer to the stars, I can am. I say that? You could say that, sure. Yeah, yeah, I helped Regis write a book. Yeah, yeah, I put Regis on the map. Leno, I, I you know, he didn't, he didn't want, he didn't, Leno didn't want me uh, to have my name on the cover, you know, but there it is there. This was my coffee table book phase, uh, not the Rolling Stone book of comedy. It all began at Rolling Stone for me, Madonna. Not a breezy conversationalist, let me tell you. Flew around Europe with these two. First Seinfeld cover of Rolling Stone. I went out and did nothing with each of them individually, kind of like what you do. Uh, anyhow, you don't think you consider this uh, nothing? This is something. We're happening. I, well, We're going through magazines sure. like Pez. Sure, Look like at this. Pez. This is like Pez. Woody, the embattled Woody Allen, finally. Uh, geez, that's the first time anything I've ever written had the word exclusive over it, too. That's kind of nice. Yeah, Letterman, I got to be sort of his Boswell for a while, and, and Dave, you know, very uncomfortable with himself and everyone else alive. And uh, somehow he was all right with me because maybe he thought I shared that. Look closely. Sharon Stone gets naked with me. She had a big surprise for me, she said. So I walked into her house. A hot tub? Uh, no, massage tables. And Sharon Stone said to me, all right, take off your clothes. What's the toughest interview you've ever had? Well, this was hard. I had to concentrate while I was naked with her. My first cover story ever. Jay Levine. Channel 2's own Jay Levine. Look at him. He doesn't have a gray hair on his head. That's where it all began. I actually tried out to be a bunny. Uh, I was in college. I went to Loyola here. And uh -huh. uh, I just tried to upset Jesuits any way I could. And Hafner loved that. And to this day, that's why he's wanting me to write his, his, uh, his biography. Do you know that he met the twins, Mandy and Sandy, at a Sinatra book party that I invited him to? You set him up with the twins? I am responsible for these twins in his life. You pimp for Hefner? I have done this. I do the, you know, and he's... This is a scoop. You hang out at the Bunny, bunny Hutch? There's no Bunny Hutch, but at the mansion. Come on, it's a Bunny mansion, Hutch. The mansion with appreciation. Look at that. That's signed by Johnny? Yes, it is. Yeah. How'd you get a hold of that? I, I've gotten to know Johnny a little bit since he retired, and uh, to me, Hefner, Sinatra, and Carson are the three sort of pillars of, of swinging cool men in the latter half of the century. You know, this is the Sinatra corner, and here he is kind of toadying up to uh, the JFK. He's actually uh, light, lighting uh, the president's butt there. The photographer tells me that that's Judith Exner, Judith Campbell Exner, who shared both men. We're red-blooded American men, the two of yeah, us. Yeah. Sure we, we both are. look at Sinatra as a god, let's be honest. He's a god. So you wanted that wisdom passed yeah. on to men like you, you and I. You and I, exactly, because I think looking at you and me, uh, we need all the help we can get. Pretty much. We're skinny-ass white guys. I know it's not good. Uh, I would ask him questions about, you know, how do you get over a broken heart? And, uh, you know, how, what's the best cure for a hangover? And things like mm -hmm. that. Things that information men could use. I like this chapter. It's just called Broads. Broads, exactly. Did I'm you just, learn huh? anything from writing that sure. book? Sure. I have ever since over-tipped. You fold it like so. Four ways. There you go. That's what it is. Hey, Pally, where? You got a table for me tonight? Come on. Sure, Mr. Sinatra. See? Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a 20 See? spot. It works every time. Hey, you're the best, Mr. Sinatra. See? Hey, that's all right, kid. You know, Sinatra liked to greet all men universally with one one inquiry, how's your bird? And I'm I I'm thinking... I, I'm thinking that it's, it's an a euphemism. It's a it's anatomical in his concern, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. How do you get people to open up? What's your technique? Is it the homework you do? You, once they find out, hey, this guy knows what he's talking about. I think that always helps. You can tell I've done my homework. None, obviously. virtually none. You're doing it here on camera, man. Well, this is the big deal. This is uh, Lost in the Fun House, The Life and Mind of Andy Kaufman. He's got to be a tough uh, biography because he was such an enigma. He lived a life of disinformation. Right. And therefore... He was somebody else. He was somebody else. He had personas bursting out of him uh, left and right, and, uh, and we all know how painful that can be. Six years ago, his family turned over all of his possessions to me, his private papers. Who knew it would... Uh, overtake my life. These are all notes on a major novel that he was working on. A lot of it happens in sort of a fantasy land, but you know, that's where Andy lived. These are scripts from Taxi, the original scripts. Yeah, and he would sign the top of them. He always spelled Vetti with two Ds. Thank you very much. His alter ego, Tony Clifton, had his own life. He had his own uh, agent, he had his own parking right. space, he had his own persona. And when he was in Clifton, he would not admit he to being never, Andy, he right? Never, he would never break it. I mean, but he's, he's a spectacularly untalented man, uh, Tony Clifton. And that could be finer than to be a Carolina in the morning. All right, watch me dance now. Oh, 
How about his wrestling fetish with women? Wasn't that sort of just a way of pick up women? Ultimately it was. He had to tape himself down, you know. There would be protrusions to be in character and to learn what he went through. I've, I've done that many days while writing here. I'm shocked. Tape myself down. I swear to God. That's an exclusive. I swear to God. That is an exclusive. I swear to God, it happened. Is that an exclusive? Hey, listen, I like the way you wear your hat. Bill Zamey, if somebody wants to buy one of your many books, what do they do? You run out to the bookstore. It's everywhere. How's your bird, baby? It's swinging, Pally.